hazards for pipelines. Part of the issue is that we're building more pipelines. We're building them in areas that were never meant to be built in, so the, the good places are gone. <laughs> so there's a lot more problems where we're building pipes. There's a lot more pipes in general. There's a lot more focus on safety in the industry and looking forward we've got things like climate change that are impacting ground movement, landslides, uh, water crossing, so water erosion, stream erosion, ground subsidence, karst topography, uh, underground mining collapse, oil withdrawal from the ground can cause the ground to subside, seismic hazards, volcanic hazards, frost heave or permafrost, anything basically that causes the ground to move where a pipe is, is buried is not, not a good thing. We provide basically a full suite of services in how to deal with these problems. So we do a lot of remote sensing work up front, a lot of work with LiDAR, aerial imagery, trying to find the problems. And then kind of flip to the engineering side, finding actual solutions, how do you do what you need to do to protect the pipes. And I think the other piece is sort of the, the management of all of that, so the a huge amount of data generated. We're talking about thousands of miles of pipe. So really finding innovative ways to keep track of all of that and have it easy at your fingertips so that the, the clients, the operators, they know right away, what do we know about this location when, when something happens?